Hey, you guys. Uh, real quick here. I normally stream, but um, if you're watching this now at 7 o'clock, I'm at a Christmas party. So uh, Merry Christmas to you all, and I uh, hope you're doing good. And, yeah, this is about uh, Chase Dagwood, you know, the har harvesting stingy nettle dude. He was telling off his punk rock friends and heavy metal friends. He's trying to get them to understand. Well, come to find out, you know, dude uh, is having really strange dreams, otherworldly dreams. And I've mentioned this before. And uh, I'm going to read about I'm going to read the description of these dreams here soon. But I want to say that when the music video drops um, Monday at five, uh, you know, please watch it because I think it's the best one I did so far. Just want to let you guys know that. And thanks to everybody. I'm, I'm loving YouTube. I'm loving it, man. Having a great time here. So uh, here we go. So this is called Dagwood's Dreams. Jogging on a treadmill, he can't, he can't shake the memories of his dreams last night. He was in a military unit of some sort engaging these grasshopper things, these like giant grasshopper things, kind of like starch, you know, ship troopers. <laughs> the sky was red with hints of blue and sand everywhere. These things burrow themselves within this sand. They leap up with tremendous ferocity upon them. They donned high-tech helmets with infrared goggles that could detect the monstrosities before they leaped. Last night, there were too many of them. His arm ripped off, so he woke up screaming, grasping his right arm, expecting only a stump there. So that's how real these dreams were to him. When he's in them, it's like he's actually there. It's not one of the dream logic stuff. This lifelike dream was by no means the first one. He's had what feels like hundreds of them, since he was a child. He turned off the treadmill. Working out normally helps him, you know? You know, just work out, do, 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 burn off all that angst. It releases him, but not this day. He can't seem to rid himself of the sinking feeling in the pit of his stomach that this was real. But how could that possibly be? when he's merely a warehouse manager in a garden supply chain, right? That's where he knew about harv harvesting stinging nettles and all that stuff. All right, you guys. Um, see you on the next one. I, I bought this. Uh, I already let a lot of people know this already, but if you're watching this for the first time, I, I bought a huge comic book collection from someone. I never did this before. So we're 420 comics. And I'm going to be doing uh, hauls on that, too. And let me know if I should put some uh, music back into the hall, into these halls. I was thinking maybe a chill wave, something chill, right? Or no music at all. Before, I used to do rock and roll, but I think you know not everyone likes that. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, please check out this music video dropping on Monday. And adios.